And our first ever today's special value from this company called National Tree. Uh, the whole category of faux plants has become hugely popular. And I'm not talking about pretty little uh, pots of, of fake flowers that you put in your house, although those are gorgeous too. But I'm talking about faux foundation plants and greenery that you plant outside in your mulch bed that looks like a real bush or a real shrub or a real tree. That whole category is huge because f folks like the people at National Tree have figured out how to make them such high quality, realistic looking. You don't have to wait for them to grow. You don't have to pet proof them, deer proof them, uh, water them. You don't have to spray them for pests. You don't have to put fertilizer in them. And if you've got a gap to fill or something that not so pretty to cover up, like a, a, um, a drainage cap thing or an electrical box or you know something that doesn't look that fire hydrant, something that doesn't look that great in your yard, this is the solution to pop these in the ground around it. However, Maybe you have a townhouse or an apartment and you don't have a yard anymore. These are also fantastic plants in the house. And again, no worrying about how much sun do they get? How much water is my cat going to eat it? No, because it's not a real plant. So introducing our first ever today's special value from National Tree. These are their very popular cedar trees. We had different sizes of their cedar trees last year. They all flew out. You couldn't find any on the website. Everybody wanted them. They were totally gone. So we brought you three new sizes this year. They are exclusive to QVC. They are 38 inches, 50 inches, or 62. And they are, and that includes the pot. That height includes the pot. So they are all on four easy pays. Here comes your value. So you can see comparably at retail, you would start with almost $60 for the 38 inch, going up to twice that much, almost 120 for the 62 inch. Our price ranges between 39 and $79. And we've put those low prices on four easy payments, starting at just 975. Over nearly 60,000 of these National Tree faux cedar trees have been sold at QVC prior to today. And we are now approaching how many today? Did you say 13, Jason? Um, he's he's uh, using his abacus right now. Hang on a sec. He's pushing the beads across to count how many. Um, but a lot, a lot, a lot of these have been sold today. 10,000 now ordered. Okay, so this is the most tips you're ever getting, the most realistic you're ever looking. And again, three exclusive sizes in this exclusive to QVC cedar. All right, Nick Antolik, who is also exclusive to QVC, is here as our wonderful expert guest. Hi, honey, welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. So what's the story here? What, tell me about this brand in case I've never heard sure. of it. Sure, well, what a great way to kick off this garden season. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned it earlier, uh, the National Tree Company is, they, they really for three generations have prided themselves on making the highest quality, this is their passion, yep. uh, artificial trees. And, and typically you see those in the really expensive uh, decorative yep. Christmas trees. Right. But now, about five years ago, they said, wait a second, we could bring this year round. Mm -hmm. And what they found is whether it's indoors or outdoors, from movie screens to Hollywood sets to here yeah. on QVC, these beautiful trees are instantly going to give you what you're looking for. So what you get is the beauty and the, to fill the space and the gorgeous color. What you don't get is the years that it would take to grow right. and prune this to the perfect size, 360 degrees around, mm -hmm. instantly you get that design element that you're looking for both inside or outside yeah. at the highest quality from National Tree. And mix them in with your real outdoor plants because you will have very difficult time trying to tell the difference. Here is the reason why you should choose this brand. Take a look at our checklist. Yeah, you've seen a lot of uh, faux plants out there, but when it comes to National Tree and this substantial size, not only is it exclusive to QVC, and it pleased customers here for the last five years, indoors or out. Some of the questions we had, it's UV stabilized, so it's not gonna fade in the hot sun. We'll keep looking this great year after year. You, the biggest thing here though, Carolyn, is that you don't have to prune it. You don't have to water it. You don't have to worry about the, the critters and the, the uh, deer getting after it. Right. This plant is gonna look great five years down the road, just as well it is looking right now. So the, the places to put these are endless. Uh, we've got our, our mulch bed here on the set. 
Uh, we are thrilled to have this brand because the plants that we used to use out here on the set did not look nearly this good or as real. Sure. Uh, and these are actually the brand of plants that are often used on movie sets and TV shows when they, you know, want to look like they've got real plants growing because you really can't tell the difference. And here's the other thing. They don't fade. They don't look a weird color. Like if you put these next to your real cedar trees, they're the right color. They don't look too blue or too gray or, or some weird plastic color. They look really real because I've done that in my own sure. yard. Or look what we've done here in front of our garage in these pots. Instantly, you've completely changed yeah. the look. The reason why it looks so real, Carolyn, is these feel real tips. And on this 50 mm -hmm. inch size, we have over 1,200 hand applied real, feel real tips with different colors in there. So it completely changes the look. But I love this in, in this space here. Look at this, a little bit of a before and after here, right. guys. We all have that middle spot in between our driveway with the hot macadam that typically, you know, under an overhang. Imagine yeah. the amount of care and the years and pruning well, and watering to get it to look this great, but then it keeps growing. Here's the other thing that happens when you've got these real trees. The back of it gets brown and yep. thin because it's up against a wall sure. or a fence. It doesn't get the sun or it's in the shade. So the front of it looks really good. The back of it looks pretty lame. Um, you know, then you end up pulling it out and throwing it away. This is always going to look gorgeous all the way around and you've done nothing. Yeah. You've done nothing but put it in a pot or in the ground and it mixes in beautifully with your other real plants. So this is our mulch bed. Look how gorgeous this is. These are all faux plants. They are, but Carolyn, wouldn't, wouldn't you love your garden to look like this? It's, it's not just today. We didn't uh -huh. put these out here just because it's the today's special value. Uh -huh. These live here all the time. Yeah. And if you haven't noticed them before, I think that's the biggest compliment uh -huh. because what you look and you see, it's beautiful. And yeah. the reason why they use them on movie sets, the reason why they use them here at QVC, it's the absolute highest quality. So yeah. if you're going to put a plant like this inside or outside of your home, not only are people going to walk up and say, is it real? They're going to touch it and they're still going to ask, is it real? Mm -hmm. and the the answer is yes, it's real. Yeah. No, it's not live. Yeah. It's better than that because it's going to look this great all year round. It also, I'm going to walk down here in the front. It also fills in the gaps. So sure. if you've got um, a couple of uh, really hardy uh, bushes, by the way, this uh, doggy bench is Barbara King's and I have it in my yard and I'm obsessed with it and it's for sale today. It's back in stock. But just saying, um, maybe you've got uh, something back there sure. that doesn't grow very well. You've pulled it out two or three times, or how about this? Maybe something got too big and it completely covered up your dining room window, or it got way bigger than the windows of your house, which doesn't look good. Then your house is like, it looks all cluttered, right? Maybe you've pulled some things out because they either died or didn't look that great. Now you can put these in either temporarily till you figure out what you want to put there, or permanently because they look great and you don't have to wait for them to grow or fill in because they're already full size. I love that. Think about the bare spaces in yeah. your yard, the trouble areas that aren't getting the right sun up against the house. These are the easy solution, but Carolyn, not just inside. These are the perfect Let's designs for QVC, the perfect sizes. I love it at the front door. Yes. Look at the way you completely transition uh -huh. and change the look of this high end designer look now all yeah. three sizes together and instantly I now have such a welcoming door and when your friends and family come in what they're going to notice is the beauty what they're not going to ask is is that real yeah I know it because because it looks totally real they would not even think to ask you that and again I love that we brought three sizes because look how cool they look staggered like that. Substantial. And here you see, we, we've actually, you know, they look phenomenal just out of the box when they mm -hmm. come uh, with the grower's pot. But you can see here, we elevated that 38 inch up off the ground a little mm -hmm. bit more and it yeah. gives you even more of that substantial feel. These are very heavily weighted in the bottom. So from six to 12 to 18 pounds. Mm -hmm. So when you sit them in front of your front door, you're not going to have to come out and pick them up in your neighbor's yard. Yeah. They're staying there in the wind in the snow, in the rain, you don't have to worry about it. And let it. me tell you something else. If you want to put these in a big pot and plant real plants around the bottom, absolutely, like little petunias or something trailing ivy trailing down or something, it doesn't hurt these at all to put them in, put them right in the dirt. And there's a put drain hole in, there too. In the soil, yep. yes. Yep. Put them in the soil, cover them up with topsoil in a big pot, plant other plants around it. And then they look even more real because now you've got real flowers in thriller, there too. Thriller, spiller, filler could I look great it. in those larger yeah. urns there as well. So now over here, before we go in, 
I just want to mention what I talked about at the beginning. It's a privacy screen, A, which is great. Uh, maybe you've got a, your close quarters with your next door neighbor. And uh, oh my gosh, in California, we had this swinging bachelor dude that lived next to our house. Nice guy, but he always had chicks in the hot tub uh -oh. right in the corner by our backyard. <laughs> and I had all these little doggies. So whenever they would go out in the backyard, they'd make a beeline for the hot tub and bark, 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 bark. He was so glad when we moved. So I wait, will tell you. You were worried about bothering him, not yeah. the other way. But you see, were worried but, about but him there, bothering if, you. If okay. You could create some privacy so your dogs can't see through and vice versa when you have something like this. But look what else you can do. You can hide icky stuff, right? Because we all have a garbage can or two. We all have something that might not, maybe a part of the fence that needs to be painted, or maybe it's not a pretty fence, like a chain link, or you know, or maybe you've got uh, that big drainage thing in your yard for the whole neighborhood, or a big electrical box, some big green square box in sure. your front yard, because you're the lucky house on the street that got the box, right? So. Cover it up with something and, uh, like this. Imagine these. the amount of work it would take to keep all four of these perfectly manicured yeah. for years of growth. They grow about a foot a year. Right. And instantly now you have this beautiful look. But Carolyn, as much as I love these outside, how about inside? This is a I designer's know. dream yep. because instantly you're able to completely change the look. Uh -huh. if, if you've ever tried to have a large uh, a house plant and it's not beside a window, typically they last for about Failure. six months and you're yeah. bringing another one in. Yeah. Now, whether it's a basement, a, a den, a place without a window, you get this beautiful oh, green look without having any of that care. So which one, how tall is this one by the stairs? So this one's gonna be the 50 inch. This so that's the medium size. Four feet, two inches tall. Okay. And that and has over 1,200 of the feel real tips on there. And look, I'm just gonna do this. Cause see, it's in its own little pot that you put in something pretty if you want to. And then you can fill it in with, you know, other stuff if sure. you want. But this pot is heavy. It's never going to tip over. It's meant to stay standing up. And you can put the pot in another pot or put it right in the ground. And Carolyn, there's a reason why QVC chose this cedar design. For years here at QVC, this is what people loved. Mm -hmm. And we were blown away, but people said, I want this inside. And when you have friends and family over and they see these real feel, uh, feel real tips, they're going to be blown away because not only when they walk past, they're yeah. going to see, hey, you fill the space, it's gorgeous, and it's going to stay that height for years to come. And the cat won't eat it. That's right. Which is a big bonus. That's right. And now, how about decorating it? So we mentioned earlier that National Tree, they started and their, their core was a third generation family in building these high-end Christmas trees, faux Christmas trees. Well, we, we've spent a lot of money on them. We keep them out for about three weeks out of the year. Mm -hmm. How about incorporating your uh, decorating into seasonal decorations with these uh, beautiful trees? So right. whether it's Valentine's Day, Easter, you mentioned that you have some lights all yeah. year round. We have some of these in our uh, basement, finished basement, where there's no windows. So we decorate them with little fairy lights. They look beautiful. Uh, it, it really is. Yeah. And, and I love that if you are able to get multiples, like over at the fireplace that we have, mm -hmm. like you're able to frame a space and just yeah. instantly change the look of your indoor space. Here. Well, they look great flanking. Don't this they? could be your fireplace. This could be um, a, a, a doorway going from your foyer into the living room. It could be a corner of a room um, and certainly your front porch. And completely. So if you have to, whether it's entryway to your home, fireplace like this or, or in a dark space mm -hmm. instantly you know we this is a 38 inch here mm -hmm. we were able to pick that up off the ground if you have an urn at home and mm -hmm. instantly you completely change your space it really classes it up and yeah. to you Matt, to your point this is always going to look this way mm -hmm. I don't have to manicure it yep. I don't have to water it it's always going to look great um, when you pull it out of the box it's going to be more compact almost like an Italian cypress um, let's go back out and show oh, you the box. Sure. Um, again, we have three sizes. We have four easy pays on each one. So the 38 inch is payments of 975. The 50 inch is payments of 1475. And the 62 inch is four payments of 1975. So it's going to come in a slim uh, cardboard shipping box, which you just pop open. There's no assembly. Um, it's in the pot. So you're not going to ever take it out of the pot. That's correct. The pot stays on the bottom of the tree, whether you're putting it in the ground or inside something decorative. So here's how it comes out. And, and here's why that's so great. Because this substantial, this is a 50 inch. Um, I mentioned earlier, this has over 1200 feel real tips wow. on this. This one weighs 12 
down. So this is a substantial grower's pot base. This grower's pot base has a drain hole in it, so you don't have to worry about watering, yep. or if you mentioned planting it in the ground. But what we want to show you is right out of the box, that's all you have to do. Now so, this is the slim, like it looks more like a cypress yep. like this. Is, isn't that great? An Italian uh -huh. cypress reaching up to the sky. Yeah. This beautiful 